Open. A web of fiber optic cables under the Stanford campus is doing much more than just transferring information. KPI X5's Len Ramirez explains it is now acting as an early earthquake warning system. These are the sounds of Stanford University above and below ground. What you're hearing are tiny vibrations recorded on fiber optic cables buried under streets on campus. The rumblings can be caused by something as simple as a car on the surface or as dreadful as an earthquake. Here we are looking at uh, some data. But Geophysics professor Biondo Biondi says the squiggly lines on the left panel of this readout were caused by a tiny 1.6 quake about five miles from the Stanford campus last August. No one felt it, but these ultra-sensitive fiber optic cables attached to laser light monitors picked it up. We demonstrated that indeed we can uh, record seismic data that is reliable and collect kind of seismic data that before was impossible to collect. Fiber optic cables have been buried beneath the surface here at Stanford for years. It's how students get the internet and how they receive and send emails. What Professor Biondi is doing is repurposing those cables into an underground network of seismic sensors. Experiments by Professor Biondi and graduate assistant Eileen Martin began last year. Since then, they have recorded about 800 seismic events from the nearly imperceptible to the massive 8.1 Chiapas quake in Mexico in September. The network is a simple two-mile figure eight in the middle of campus. Stamen Design of San Francisco worked with the Stanford researchers and won a national design award for creating visual representations of the data coming from below ground. We're always is fascinated by these opportunities to make the invisible visible. Perhaps the most promising part of the project is the fiber optics ability to record the faint first waves of a quake that come even before the ground shaking. They are able to pick up the fastest moving waves that have the P waves and then uh, usually they're followed by the S or shear waves and then by the surface waves. Could this someday become part of a relatively cheap and ubiquitous early earthquake warning system? It's a long way off but Biondi believes it can. The hope for this technology is to have seismic observatory basically uh, large scale everywhere in the world. Fiber optics are being installed across oceans and in remote jungles maybe one day becoming like a giant worldwide glass ear, always listening for earthquakes. At Stanford, Len Ramitas, KPIX 5.